Hello everyone, this is your boy Bull Boy Kennels. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to properly use, or at least one of the proper ways on how to use iWeb with not only your personal domain, but also with your .Mac account. Now, the reason I'm showing this is because some folks have asked or have had the question where when they use their personal domain, their RSS feeds or RSS links do not point to the correct link itself. Now, what I want to show you is I have a few sites set up in iWeb already. Let me just zoom into these right quick. All right, the first site that I have, and it's in it's WV, it's the my main one that I'm using. Now, what you want to keep in mind is, um, as far as your .dot mac account, which whichever site is the very first one, is the one that it will default to when you put in your dot mac url or your personal domain for your dot mac url now say you have a additional site that's hosted on a, a paid uh, hosting account so you may want to create a site just for that using iweb well it's not a problem as you can see, one of my other uh, iWeb sites that I've created is also listed. Now, if you notice, it's not the first one. It's actually the second. And it could be second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, one, two, three, four, you know. It, it can be in any order as long as I'm not keeping it in, in the very first one. And the reason I don't want to keep it in the first one, as I've already mentioned, whichever is the first one is the one that is used by your .Mac account, including your personal domain. All right, now, what you'll need to do is, once you, you have this set up, you'll, you'll want to save, you'll want to save your um, site, so go, you know, go to, I'll have iWeb open, click File, Publish to a folder, and now you'll get a box that comes up that looks like this. You know, choose a location to store your site. Now, this is if you want to use a additional site other than you know posting it on .Mac. So in my case, I'm going to use uh, www.bullboykennels.com. Make sure to include the uh, forward slash it it just helps out a little better so make sure to include that and then once you have it you, know, you can click on choose to you know that's where you, the folder location you're going to choose to uh, which is always the sites folder okay now that we got that aspect covered and we have it saved to our uh, site folder location what you want to do is, um, depending on what FTP client you use, free, paid, doesn't matter, you know, whatever FTP client. I just prefer to use Transmit. I, I personally en enjoy this one out of all of them. So what you want to do is open up your FTP client, log into your host account. Now this is the root directory for this particular account here. Now what I want to do is I want to select the site folder that I want to upload. So what I'm going to be uploading is going to be the folder for the site which was uh, which I labeled BBK. Also the images folder and the index.html. This is very important to include with your site folder even if you choose not to include the images folder. So make sure you include this. It's very important. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select that. And our images folder. 
and the site folder that we're using. We'll take these folders and then we'll upload them into our root directory of our hosted accounts, which as you can see, I have my site folder, my images, and my, in my index.html file. So do not make the mistake of selecting all of these and then putting them in your root folder. You, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that it, it, it stays in the same file structure. All right, now the reason you want to do that is because once you have it uploaded to your site, as you can see on here, this is the site URL, which is hosted with a, um, a um, whether it be a free host or a paid host, you notice it has the site URL, and in the URL, it has the site folder, which was BBK that I, that I called it, and my main page is just booboykennels.html. So that is why you want to keep that file structure. Now, the part where most folks have trouble is when they include either podcast or their blog. Now, I'm only going to show the podcast because it actually it, it works the same way as the uh, blog does. So you have your podcast here. You have your subscribe um, button. Now, you'll notice, again, with the URL, it still keeps the same structure. You know, the, the name of my site, the name of the site folder name, the podcast folder, the podcast HTML. Now, I can also view the RSS feed, which, as you can see here, it still maintains the same structure. Because if you upload everything that's in the site folder, then what will happen is this area right here won't be included, and that's going to interfere and mess up your podcast link. So that's that's why you don't you don't want to do that. Now, the other thing as well for for your iTunes, as this would be a uh, podcast, the uh, iTunes URL is always ITPC. I kind of I kind of like to remember it as iTunes Podcast. iTunes Podcast. Real easy way to remember the first four links. And, and again, this, this has the same file structure as well. So very important that you upload the site folder for that particular site into your root folder of your hosted account along with the image folder and the, the index.html. Now the reason you want to include the index.html is because it actually works as a redirect link to the index folder for whatever your home page is on the site folder itself. And that's how you get your RSS links to work properly with your own hosted account, whether, as I, again, as I said, Paid host, free host, GoDaddy, Comcast, whomever you use, this is the proper way to upload your files and maintain a certain file structure. Again, if you do not do it this way, then your RSS feed links will be broken and then you'll be beating your head saying, why doesn't it work? Anyways. This was Boo Boy Kennels with another iWeb tip. And thank you for taking the time to watch.